Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and friends you're gonna love. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In today's class, we are continuing with lesson number 12, La Francophonie, and hence this is the part 2 video. Part 1 and all the other videos based on this particular textbook, Ontogen Class 9, is present in the playlist titled Ontogen Class 9. The link to the playlist is given in the description box below. So... We had stopped at the end of page number 132 in my previous video. If you have watched it, you must be knowing. And now we are continuing from page number 133. So the first thing which we notice on page number 133 is a email, right? An email sent to Dennis by Nargis and Ali. Okay, let's read it. Bonjour, Dennis. Hello Dennis, uh, nous t'envoyons ce petit mot du Sénégal. We are sending you a little note from Sénégal. So a new uh, expression you may call it petit mot. The literal translation will be small word, but it's not so. Here it would be little note. Petit mot, little note. Fine. Nous sommes à Saint-Louis chez notre oncle Hassan. So we are at uh, the St. Louis, must be some place in Senegal, uh, at the place of our uncle, oncle. Already discussed many times, oncle, uncle Hassan. En ce moment, at this moment, nous sommes à Dakar. Dakar is the capital city of Senegal. Dakar, qui se situé à 60 km nord de Saint-Louis, uh, which is situated uh, at 60 km north of St. Louis. Dakar, c'est la capitale du Sénégal. Dakar is the capital of Sénégal. L'autre jour, nous, so, nous avons visité le parc de Dijoudi. Not really sure for the pronunciation. Like the name is D J O U D, so I don't know whether D is silent or not. Uh, it's D J U D might be. Let's see. So the other day we visited the park of D J U D or J U D. I'm not really sure. Uh, pour voir les oiseaux. So for seeing the birds, we went to the park of D J U D. Uh, nous sommes allés à la mosquée à Touba et nous avons aussi visité la marche à Kaulak. Fine, so we went to the mosque of Touba, the one which we discussed in the previous video, et nous avons aussi visité la marche. Fine, and we also visited the market at Kaulak, must be a city in Senegal. Sud de Dakar, in the south of Dakar. Fine. Nous espérons que tout va bien de ton côté. Let's write this expression. It's quite nice to write it in a letter or in an email. Let's discuss a bit more on this. Nous espérons, or simply j'espère, here since two people are writing, so they will be writing nous espérons. Nous espérons. Que tout va bien de ton côté. We hope that everything is going well on your side. So it's a really nice phrase. You may use it in your letter writings as well. That I hope or we hope that everything's well in your side. Fine. Tu dois venir chez nous en de ces jours. So, you must visit our place in, on one of these days. Fine. Voilà les nouvelles. Here is news. Here is the news. Nous partons pour le Canada la semaine prochaine et nous y resterons une quinzaine de jours. So, we'll be leaving for... Canada the next week and we will be staying there for a fortnight. 
ओके अभियान टू फाइंड बिया हमी कालमो वेरी फ्रेंडली अभियान टू इस लाइक सी यू सून और बाय अ सिंपल मैन ऑफ सिंग बाय बिया हमी कालमो वेरी फ्रेंडली नर्गिस ए ताली नर्गिस एंड अली फाइन सो दैट्स इट for the email and now we have a couple of questions based on it let's solve them first i need to erase the whole part now let's begin répond aux questions suivantes qui écrit ce courriel à qui so who wrote this email to whom nargis etali Ekriv sa kurier sa kurier a Dennis. Fine. Number two. Who saw Ali and Nargis? So Nargis and Ali and Nargis. Sorry to mess up with the names. Ali and Nargis. Where are they? So they are. In Dakar, in Senegal. Fine. So simply you may write El Sol, a Dakar, or Senegal. You must be wondering, or you may be wondering, that what's this, this, and yeah, what's why are we using a? Why are we using o? So these are particularly the prepositions used for places like countries and cities. Senegal being a feminine. Oh, sorry, we won't put uh huh. We will put a u o o Senegal because Senegal is a masculine country, and Dakar for cities we use a. All these prepositions are discussed in my prepositions in French video. Do watch it. The link is in the description box below. Fine. Like France, France is feminine, so we will put all France E N. Simply, it is unique. United States of America, it's plural, right? So, O A U X O Z it is unique. Like that, we can do it very well. Moving towards the next question. Uh. Perfect. Next question is prove on a text. Okay, in the same text we need to find for something something. Let's find it out. Le nom de de pays où on parle le français. So name two countries where we speak French. So as for this passage, first should be le Canada, and second one should be le Sénégal. In th these two countries, we speak French. So now, le nom de de ville sénégalaise. So name two cities, Senegalian cities. Fine. Or uh, cities from Senegal, Senegalese. Uh, we have Dakar, of course, the capital city, and then we have Kaolack. Then there is Saint Louis. Then the jury. We need to write only two. Okay. Next we have the lieu touristique au Sénégal. Two touristic places. Fine. Tourist places. So first you can say la mosquée. Ah, uh, Touba. The mosque in Touba. And then you may talk about ah uh, le parc de la jury or le marché. Ah, uh, Kaola. Two French-speaking countries, two cities in Senegal, and two tourist places in Senegal. Fine. Now let's move further, for which I need to erase the things which I have written on the board. Perfect. 
un jeu de coupe de I discover. La recette de couscous. Couscous is a dish. And we will be discussing the recipe of it. Couscous. Let's know about what couscous is. La recette de couscous, the recipe of couscous. Le couscous est a été classé au vin euh, 14, en première position des plats préférés des Français. Oh. So the couscous was classified as the first, at the first position of most preferred dishes of French in the year 2014. Le couscous est un plat nord-africain qui désigne aussi les granules de semoule de blé dur. So, it is a North African dish uh, which is made with, which is also made with the granules of semolina and of hard wheat. We make it with granules of semolina of hard wheat, okay? Aujourd'hui, le couscous est habituellement servi avec de la viande et un ragoût de légumes. So today, we serve couscous uh, habitually with uh, the meat, avec de la viande, or ragoût. Ragoût? Oh. Ragoût de légumes. Ragu means stew. So we serve couscous with, with uh, this legume means vegetables. We have discussed it numerous times. So with couscous, we generally serve uh, meat or, and uh, a vegetable stew. Fine. Let's move ahead. Page number 134 is what we are discussing now. Again, I need to erase it due to the space constraint because I have quite a lot to write. Perfect. Uh, moving to the recipe. Ingredients: six person. So for uh, six people, the ingredients are mentioned in that manner. Number one, trois cuillères d'huile d'olive. Uh, one I is missing in this book. Trois cuillères de d'huile d'olive. We must have come across this word numerous times. This means nothing but olive oil, and cuillère is again nothing but um, spoon, a uh, spoon, tablespoon, right? Like the utensils in French, I have a video on it, so you must watch it. It's really helpful. Utensils in French. Fine. I will put the link in the description box below. Okay. Uh, the boîte de concentré de tomate. A new word which we come across. Concentré. Concentré de tomate. Even if we don't know the meaning, we can interpret the meaning very well. Concentré. Concentré. Uh, try to think of a similar English word. Concentrated. Right. Concentrated. So, tomatoes concentrated. Like what? We have taken the pulp of tomato and we have kept it in the concentrated manner. What is it? It's a puree, right? So concentrate, the concentrate, the, the tomato is like concentrated tomato pulp, which is nothing but tomato puree. Fine. So tomato puree is what concentrate, concentrate the tomato is. The cuillère a soup de pisse a couscous. So two tablespoons of spices of couscous. There must be some particular spices uh, which we put in couscous, so those we need to put there. The spices are not mentioned in detail though. Still it's fine. Dis a pati nave. Nave again we have discussed it before. Nave. Tonic. Uh, I have put an S here, so I need to put S here also, turnips. So, and if we remove an S, it will become singular, simple enough. That's also fine. Nave is nothing but turnip. 
We need 10 small turnips. C is a carrot. 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 And a block de pois chiche. So a box of chickpeas. Mm, again, I should write it. It says it's a new word. Pois chiche. A box of chickpeas. Okay. Again, I need to erase this. Uh, one more video I would like to recommend here is vegetables in French. The link to the video is given in the description box below. Fine. So, how to prepare couscous? Lave et épluchez les légumes et coupez les en petits morceaux. So, you should wash first, lave and épluche. You should peel the vegetables and cut them in small pieces. Morco. Small, well, uh, sorry, uh, pieces. Morco is pieces, right. And pati morco, small pieces. Um, fine, I don't know whether it's more so. Let it be. Dans un casserole, in a pan, versez l'huile d'olive. Now you need to pour the olive oil. Mette au feu, keep it on fire, feu. F-E-U, feu, fire. Uh, Mette au feu, fine, keep it on fire. Ajoutez les légumes et le concentré de tomate. So add the vegetables and the tomato puree. Attendez 20 minutes, wait for 20 minutes, ajoutez les pois chiches et les épices. So then add the chickpeas and spices. Servez au compagne d'une semoule, semoule fine. So serve accompanied with fine semolina. Okay. So that's how you prepare couscous. So you may give the try as well. Um... It must be nice, since it's like the most preferred dish by French people, so it must be nice. Moving towards the next exercise, our third question. We have two questions based on this. Okay. Remplis les blancs à l'aide du taxi dessus. A couscous. What is couscous? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Le couscous. This question can also come in your culture and civilization. Then these uh, nasty columns and fill in the blanks based on the text. These are also important from section D point of view. Culture and civilization. Fine. Remplis les blancs à l'aide du texte dessus. So fill in the blanks with the help of text given above. Le couscous est un plat dash. So, couscous is a dish of where? North Africa, right? A pla North African, a North African dish. Fine. C'est un des plats les plus populaires en dash. So, it's a dish very popular. Where? In this process, we are given one country where it's very popular, which is France. So, France, number three. Supply is souvent servi avec. So, this dish is often served with what? With meat or with vegetable stew. I hope you remember. So, avec de la viande. De la viande. Et... Uh, ragu the legume fine perfect uh, moving towards the last one for this particular question uh, which is uh, trois legumes utilisés dans la recette sont so the three vegetables which you are using in the recipe of couscous uh, for instance navi, turnip 
Then we have what else? Courgette, uh, zucchini. Oh, I missed it by reading out the recipe. So the second last item is the courgette. Two zucchini. And what else do we have? Tomatoes. So tomato. So the three vegetables which we are adding to our couscous is tonne, zucchini and tomato. I would like to halt here and we will be starting from page number 135 in my next video. So stay tuned for Shudui. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel in Learn Country Danuga. And if you have any doubt or suggestion, you may write that in the comment section below. You may also like my Facebook page by the same name, Learn Country Danuga. Thanks for watching. Au revoir, you play part la long français et l'amour. See you in lesson 12, la francophonie, part 3. So that's all. Bye.